So this is my cool band DM1. Um, I'm pretty sure it's the first, second version. Uh, it's Darth Maul's lightsaber, as you can see. I've done an install, a double install. So it has two nano biscotti V4s in it. So you have three sound fonts which you can edit via the SD card. Tri-Cree, uh, deep red, deep red, white, white flash on flash. Uh, 20mm bass speaker, uh, 18650 battery, rechargeable. Uh, has a recharge port on both. These custom, these are KR Sabres um, pummels with the crystal on it. They don't light up, I'm afraid. Comes with the plaque and the stand. The blade's not included, but it has got two blade plugs. It takes a 7 8 inch blade. So to activate it, swing action and also um, I've customised one of the sound fonts in this one so it plays Darth Maul's music so it only plays in one of the hilts not in that one uh, so you've got the hum but it's actually got the hum and Darth Maul's on this one as well uh, cycle through the fonts down the activation button. At last we will reveal ourselves to the Jedi. At last we will have revenge. Maul. So this is a KR Sabres coupler as well. It's the original one that comes with it, it's rubbish. This one's vented for sound. So you have now two single. work on it which is this one two but this one doesn't the reason being that I haven't done both is because the person I bought this lightsaber with messed it up a bit <coughs> so some of the buttons the tactile switches on them don't work so that one doesn't work but they both work on this one so I've wired it up so both of them work um, also he <coughs> This one he tried to tap uh, a blade retention in and messed it up. He's doing it in the wrong place. I've put one on 
which is there on both sabers. So this now has a hole. And as you can see, it lets the light through. Um, it is possible to fill that in, but for me, it didn't really make much difference. It didn't bother me too much. I quite like this. Labor tensions there. Just loosen that off. It's got a very deep emitter. The uh, tricreed is round here, so all of that goes in, so it's definitely okay for drawing with both as well. nice and bright. I put a bit of a pulse on the on the sound card set. So this that's your pommel. <coughs> so to access the SD card and the recharge port, take your pommel off. You have two Small screws here, loosen them off, and this one you have to loosen off more because this holds the um, chassis in, and then this one holds the uh, kill key in place, the recharge port. So you have to loosen this one off a little bit more. And if you tap it out on your hand, you can then just grab hold of it. Gently pull it out. So that's your Nano Biscotti. There's your recharge port. So you plug in your charger there. And if you want to change the settings on the SD card, make sure you put in a kill key before you take out the SD card. And then that just slides in there's your speaker. Then just make sure when you put this back in, obviously this bit needs to be along with that for it to hold it into place. Pop it in like that, tighten it back up, tighten this one back up, and then it, I hold it all in place. Like so, and you can put your cup plum back on, or your thing if you want to, hey, depending on how you want to display them. That's the uh, play plug. So, if there's any other questions, feel free to ask. They're both exactly the same as well. We're only taking out. So you undo these on both sides and it just pops out. So you might have to give it a gentle tap on your hand. Okay, any questions, feel free to ask. Thanks for watching.